Hi, my name is Erica, and welcome to this short practice to give some love to our hands and our fingers. So we're using um, our hands for so many things, of course, um, big and subtle, a, a lot of um, computer work, driving, um, etc., cetera, um, gardening, hopefully. Uh, and so we wanna pay attention to these wonderful, uh, wonderful parts of the body that allow us to do so much, um, to be in touch with our loved ones, um, et cetera. So this practice can be done on the floor or seated in a chair, uh, just being comfortable to where you can sit up nice and tall. Um, I suppose you could do this practice lying down as well, um, just being uh, able to get to the hands and allow them to be free and move freely. So we'll start in that comfortable seated position. So you feel um, supported. So I have a, a blanket underneath uh, my seat here to honor the curve of the low back uh, and to um, feel again supported and nice and tall. Okay, gently close the eyes or gaze down towards the floor. Let the eyes be soft. And we'll begin to tune in to how the body is feeling today at this time. And there's no judgment, noticing any areas that are feeling pretty good, open, uh, strong, soft, supple, relaxed. And also noticing those areas that are of the body that are feeling a bit tense or tight, that need a little extra sensitivity, maybe there's an injury. Rather than judging those areas, giving them some extra love. And now begin to tune into the breath. Gradually allow the chest to become more quiet and the breath to move towards the low ribs, low belly as you inhale and soften as you exhale. Breath is in and out of the nose if possible. As you allow the breath to find its natural pace, begin to notice the quality of the mind. So the pace, just the mind running fast with to-do lists and distractions. Is the mind feeling dull or tired or lethargic today? Or is the mind feeling clear, focused, no judgment? Just noticing. And you're welcome to keep the eyes closed or blink the eyes open, let the head relax above the shoulders. And we'll start with the shoulders. Just draw the shoulders up towards the ears, back and down. Make some circles in one direction. And then circles in the other direction. and allow the shoulders to relax. Bring the arms out in front of you. We'll just take some simple circles through the elbows in one direction, a little dance move here. <laughs> and then other direction. Notice if there's any popping or cracking if you, um, and of course we don't want to experience any pain, but notice how you might adjust. My shoulder's a little bit poppy today. And then maybe circle in opposite directions here, one way and then the other way. And then let's move into the wrist. So bring the arms out in front of you. You're welcome to relax them anytime the shoulders need a break. Bring the arms out in front of you, elbows nice and soft. And as you inhale, draw the hands back towards you. And as you breathe out, curl the hands and the fingers underneath. So we'll move back and forth with the breath if you can. So you can let the breath just be natural and move nice and slow. Or if you'd like to add the breath to movement, inhale as you draw the hands back and exhale as you draw the hands underneath. Let me take one more. And then release the hands parallel to the floor. And we'll let the hands move and slide off to the right and then come back to center and then off into the left and come back to center. Doesn't need to be a big range of motion. 
Just allow the movement to be nice and smooth, keeping the arms still, just moving from the wrist. And again, you can coordinate this with the breath as well as you get more practiced. One more time to each side. And coming back to center, bring the hands back, palms face forward, and let's make some circles, circling in one direction. Just let the fingers um, be spread, comfortable distance apart, and then the other direction. And then circle the hands towards each other and away. And then let the palms rest face up in the lap. Let the shoulders soften for a moment. Deep inhale and full exhale. Great. Draw the hands out in front of you again. And then from here, we'll take some stretches. So draw, um, bring one palm to face away from you towards me, and then use the other hand to draw um, the hand, that hand back. So pull back on the fingers. Might feel a stretch um, on the forearm there, underside of the forearm. And notice if you're holding your breath. So if the, if the stretch is quite intense for you, uh, the breath might start to catch. And so you might back off a little bit, find your breath again, and then move into the stretch. My puppy in the background is snoring. <laughs> Let's start to up. Right, so then we'll go in the other direction. So draw the hand underneath you and press the back of the palm. Push the wrist towards me. Again, nice steady breath. You get fairly intense for some of us. But not moving to the point of pain. We still want to use our breath as our guide. Nice, and then release. Go ahead and shake that hand out. And just take a moment, palms face down. Close the eyes and notice, if you notice, uh, a difference between right and left hand. We'll take the other side. So bring the opposite hand out in front of you, palm faces away, and then draw back on the palm, the fingers. Notice if your shoulders creep up towards your ears, can you soften them? And then we'll take the other direction. So draw the hand underneath you, push the wrists away. And release, shake that hand out. Again, palms face down on the lap, take a deep breath in, notice any differences or similarities between the hands. This is um, a simple exercise, but just that noticing, taking that pause to notice the differences or the similarities, starts to focus the mind. And then we'll come off of our, our seat here and you can come on to hands and knees. If this is not comfortable for you to be on hands and knees, you can also do these practices at a wall and press um, as much or as little pressure into the wall. Um, we just want to get a little bit of weight on the wrist here. So you're at the wall standing or you're on your hands and knees. And you can always sit back a little bit onto the feet if um, you don't want as much pressure on the wrists, or you can come into tabletop pose. So I'm going to be in table, hands a comfortable distance apart, and we just start to shift our shoulders from side to side. Again, if you're doing this at the wall, you're just doing the same thing. Okay. It's a little bit different pressure. Again, notice the breath is nice and smooth, and then shift the shoulders forward and back. Observe the difference in pressure from the wrist to the base of the fingers, the tips of the fingers. And then we'll make some circles. So circle the shoulders are just above the wrists here in one direction. Nice, easy breaths here and then other direction. 
and we'll take some different hand positions. So turn the hands out. And again, we shift from side to side or we make some circles. So we start to get a little bit more organic movement here. So um, you work in your, uh, in your way, okay, choosing your movement, and then maybe turn the fingers back towards you, towards the knees. Okay, shifting forward and back, side to side, make some circles here. Always come back to the breath as your guide if it's too much, if the movement is too much or pressure too much. And then with the fingers facing back, we'll start to lean back, lean the hips back. Maybe as you breathe, the wrists start to lift off of the floor. Keep breathing here. So same thing that we did seated, just with the, maybe um, a different orientation here. And maybe you start to peel the fingers up off of the mat or off of the wall and then set them back down and come back to that tabletop position. Go ahead and turn the fingers forward again and then turn the hands in so fingers face one another. And again, same thing, side to side, shift around. And then we'll turn the fingers back forward and make fists with the hands. So this may be a little interesting on the wall. So just be aware, okay? Um, and again, side to side, maybe it's kind of a walking motion, walking the fists forward, walking them back, walking them out to the side here. Just putting some different pressure on the hands here. Coming back to center, maybe we rock onto the pinky side of the fists here and forward. We can bend the elbows. And then um, coming onto the back of the hands. So I find that I need to take some pressure off when I come onto the back of the hands here. I need to move my hips back a little bit. Okay. And then going from the back of the hands into fists here, back of the hands into fists. Keeping that breath nice and easy. And then starting to move. So onto the outer edges of the hands, tops of the hands, back of the hands, fists. Just how many different ways can you move onto different parts of the hands, putting pressure, rotating, just waking up the hands, fingers, in all different ways. All right. And then from here, we'll sit back into child's pose if you're on the floor, let the palms face up. My doggies go and check out who's here. <laughs> and the elbows can bend. You can keep lifted or you can lower the head towards the floor. And just let the hands rest here. Let the hands rest, let the fingers be soft. Take some deep breaths in and out. And as you breathe in and out again, let the breath move into the low back as you inhale and let the belly soften as you exhale. Turn the palms to face down. We'll come back to seated again on the floor in your chair, sitting up nice and tall. And you can let the palms rest face down or face up in your lap here as we move towards the end of our practice, giving a little bit of love to the hands or the paws in the case of our doggies. Eyes can be closed or in a soft gaze. And take a moment here to notice how you feel in the body at the end of your short practice here, knowing that you've done enough. Any new aliveness or rejuvenation in the hands. Giving gratitude for all that our wrists, our hands, our fingers do for us, what they touch, what they feel, what they send out, what they take in. Notice the quality of your breath. Allow the breath to be easy and smooth. And notice if there's any changes in the quality of the mind. So 
And as you're ready, bring the hands to heart center, or if you have a four-legged near you, allow yourself to caress their soft fur. And hands to heart center as we close. Bowing the forehead towards the hands. Offering gratitude for our mind, our body, our breath, our hands. Today, as you move forward, may you have peace in your thoughts, in your words, in your hearts. And may you reach out to the world with that peace. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. We'll see you next time. Or TSM 5 as well. <laughs> Thank you.